Hey, Lupine Laners, Mr. Carl again. I'm back with you. Uh, it's another day for you, same day for me. I hope you're making the best out of today. Hope you're getting outside, getting running around, having fun. Uh, today I'm gonna be making crepes with you. Uh, I hope you guys have tried this at home. Maybe you've gone to a place where they have these and they sell them on the side of the road, or maybe, I don't know, I know there was a place uh, close by um, when they reopened, they were like crazy crepes or something like that. So good, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one too. So I'm gonna get you back down here. Or we're gonna start up on the table. All right, so all of our ingredients are gonna go in all at once. Uh, this has been emailed out to you already. So we're gonna have eggs, flour, milk, water, salt, and butter. So I've gotten everything already marked out. I have our eggs getting started. So um, we're gonna start with our eggs. Um, I like to do that because I wanna make sure that we do not uh, lose any of these awesome shells inside of our mixing bowls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this in a clear bowl so that whenever I start to crack them, if I feel like maybe I've lost a little piece, I can always look through the bottom and, and then just get it out or make sure that it doesn't go into our main mixing bowl. Uh, so uh, I would advise if you can use uh, gloves with this. Um, if you don't have any gloves with you, just go ahead and wash your hands immediately afterwards. We're gonna make sure that we keep our hands as clean as possible and we're not contaminating other things with uh, raw egg, okay? Uh, my method, some people like to use them on the side of the bowl. I like to just tap it right down on a flat surface. That kind of gives me an even playing field and I don't crash the egg down into the bowl that I'm going into. So uh, this is how I do it, just nice and easy. Once I find the main crack there, I just put my two thumbs in and gently move it out just like that. Don't have to power through it. I have four of these. Whoop. Two. Three. And four. That one I got a little hard, didn't I? All right. All right, so I'm just gonna double check, make sure I didn't get anything in there. All right, I'm looking pretty good. So I'm gonna add this to my main mixing bowl. And what I like to do, and I, you know, I could have whisked them in, in there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right here. I'm just gonna break up the yolks and then get them whipping around with my whisk. You can also do this with a uh, the power mixer, the hand mixer if you'd like. This is just nice and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my uh, wet ingredients first. So I'm gonna add my milk. And I'll get in the water. And let's see. And I did forget to melt my butter, but that's okay. Not a problem, it's about room temperature now. Shouldn't be in that much of an issue. So I'm just gonna break this up a little bit. I forgot to melt, melt it, that's the, but it doesn't matter. It was already room temperature, so it should break up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Gonna melt that in. It also calls for, um, let's see, a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball this one. About four shakes of salt. I need a lot, just a little bit. Before I add our flour, I'm also gonna add one more ingredient that I didn't put on there, and this is uh, vanilla extract. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. That'll go in there pretty nicely. I'm exposing my no measure method right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does smell so good. All right, we've gotten that nice and mixed in. Then I'm gonna add our flour. And I'm gonna do that while I'm mixing at the same time. Because if you just dump it in, it'll all stick together. So this is gonna be a wet mixture, okay? This is gonna be a little bit sticky. It's not even really gonna stick together. If we were to keep adding flour, more flour, yeah, it would form a nice little ball, but we don't really need to do that, do we? These are crepes. The crepes are gonna get fried in a pan. Nice, this is looking pretty good, pretty good. All right, enough of that mixing. 
I think we did pretty good. So give me one second. I'm gonna wheel you around over here. All right, can you see this? Yep. So I've got my hand, my, uh, sorry, my hand, my pan preheated. It looks a little on the hot spot. I do this with um, an electric stove here at the school. It's kind of tough sometimes to keep the temperature nice and consistent. So, okay, so I can see that's a little bit hot. So I'm gonna take mine off of here. I'm gonna just make sure that you can still see what I'm doing on this side. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray our pan. You can use uh, butter, margarine, you can use vegan butter, you can use oil if you want to. I just use a little bit of uh, spray uh, canola oil right there. It's nice and easy, it works pretty good at high temperatures. And then I'm gonna get a fourth of a cup of our mixture here. And I'm just gonna put it right into our pan. And as soon as I do, I'm going to swirl it around. Now what I've learned a lot over the years is that the first one that you put in, especially when you're using electric, may not work out as well as you thought. Oops, just lost my thing in there, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl this batter around. You see how I'm doing that? You can start seeing it's moving around with me now. So I'm gonna wait until uh, the edges are a little bit brown, which they're starting to get there. And then we see, see some of the uh, bubbles in there also. Little bubbles and then it loosens on the edge with the spatula. That's nice. Seeing that? Cool. Then if you want, I can start seeing the little bubbles popping up in the bottom there. I don't know if y'all can see that. I've got a little bubbles. And I'm just going to take a look-see underneath. Looking pretty good. So, now, just like a pancake, whew, it's coming apart at the edge right there. I'll get two of these done for you so you can kind of see. Just like a pancake, you want to flip it right over. Got some of the edges on there. I'll get that out of your way. Not a big deal, not a big deal. All right. So, when you flip it over, this side should not take long at all because you've already done pretty much all of the cooking on the other side. Now, when you get it out, I want you to think about, before you get all this going, I want you to think about some of the toppings or maybe some of the fillings you would like to go inside of it. Or you can obviously just eat it plain if you'd like to, that's fine too. In classes, a lot of the times we will roll them up with some chocolate chips. So the bubbles are starting to form on the top here also. So I'm gonna slide this over onto our paper plate. And I'm gonna add to this one, I will add some chocolate chips. And these are still pretty hot, right? So it's gonna keep melting that, those nice chocolate chips there. You can fold it straight over, kind of like a quesadilla. You could roll it up, make it look kind of like a taco. Either way, and then you can cut into it, maybe top it with a little whipped cream or whatever. While we're all here, if you want to, we can make another one. Let's grease up the pan again, make sure it's nice and not sticky. Perfect. What are some things you guys have been doing to be active this week? Y'all have any plans to go anywhere? Maybe just get out to the backyard. Maybe hang out with a buddy you haven't seen in a little bit. We've been playing a lot of cool indoor games at our house, especially when the weather has been a little bit wet and cold. Check that out. Start starting to loosen up a little bit already. Almost like you throw it up, but I'm not gonna do that on camera right now. No way, Jose. 
All right, flip it over, and this is looking really good. I always told you the first one is like, yeah, so, so, so. But second one, we'll get it done right. I'm going to get my plate again. Like I say, this second side should not last. This should not take too long, okay? And let's get you up and over onto our plate here. Still hot. And then just going to fold that right over. I'm imagining there's some jelly or something on top of there or inside of there. Anyway, so that's crepe making right there. My gosh, I hope you all have enjoyed this. I hope you guys can share it with everybody. Again, I hope you're doing really well. We miss you all, and we'll see you real soon, okay? Have a good one.